If it's a straight, it needs to be about 17 to 18 inches. This is one and a half by one and three quarter. So roughly 18 inches long. So this is the shroud that goes under the radiator, under the crankshaft pulley. And these forward bolt holes whoop, were uh, all ripped out. <clears throat> this is what the, this one looks like over here. That's all that was left. And this one, about the same. So I cut out the damage. I made these tabs. They're going to sit there. That's the other one. And they do have to stick out a little bit. They're actually bent out right where that bolt goes in from the factory, as best I could tell from this. Looking at this before I looking down, you can see right here, there's a joggle coming this way towards the frame. So I spaced these replacement pieces in line with where that joggle was. Same thing here. So I'm gonna weld these in and go try trial fit. All right, so welding two pieces of 30,000 steel together, not the easiest thing, but accomplished it. So uh, I test fit, did a test fit just now and it fits right in place. Now you're gonna have to cut me a little slack. Huh? A little out of practice on welding, TIG welding uh, 40,000. So that's penetration on the back side of this one. And it did, was a little snug, so I had to grind a little of the weld off to get it to fit between the frame members. The penetration on the other side. <coughs> this is the nasty weld, first one I tried. But we got it to glued together. And over here, the other side came out a little bit better, but uh, don't get on me too hard. I haven't TIG welded this thin of material in a long time. I had a little time today to do some bead blasting and painting. We got this cover bead blasted and painted. That guy sits right there. Like that. <laughs> so, uh, got some bead blasting to do on this shroud. And we're getting there. Kind of lose track of all the little odd jobs you gotta do. But, uh, this is another one. Both these little screws on each side are uh, corroded and The old screws are hard to get out, and the new screws didn't want to go in, so got to clean all these threads on just about everything you do. Well, these were the tabs I had to weld on this shroud. Where these fasteners went in, there was no tab left, it was broken off. These holes are lined up for the uh, radiator support bolts to go in. Got the new water pump on today and the new, brand new housing here and the outlet pipe. Restored my adjuster bar here and spacer. 
Lots of progress today. Got the water pump on. Got the bypass or the housing on and the thermostat housing on. Got the grill fixed and fasteners replaced so it can be installed. You see one in there. Got the support installed. Two brand new bolts holding it down at the bottom. Nice new pads for it to sit on. And then we got the radiator put in and this shroud put on. Got some new bumpers here. Got this one that came with them, but uh, there's no hole here. So uh, some of them have a hole and that screw just goes right through and holds it on. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. But good day. So the reason I'm doing all this is because when I finally got this guy running, I found out that it would just overheat in five or ten minutes. I drained the system, flushed it, and put some coolant in and all that, and I couldn't get it to, to not overheat. I uh, found out if I sprayed water on the radiator while the engine was running, it would not overheat. Uh, plus the radiator had a couple of leaks in it, so and it was also the whole system was just full of rust as you can see on some of the engine bay photos so um i do i did i flushed it several times and uh and i took the radiator out of the loop and i flushed it a couple more times and then this was what you're going to see here is the final flush to hopefully keep any rust or any debris that may be possibly still in the system to get into that new radiator. So I flushed it for a long time, probably half an hour, and the water was coming out crystal clear, and uh, that just had to finally hook it up and hope for the best. Well, this is my method to try to make sure there's no rusty water left before I start pumping it through my brand new radiator. Got the water going in there. The inlet, the inlet down there. Going through the engine. There's no thermostat in it right now, so some of it's bypassing. No uh, restriction there. And then it comes out the upper some of your comments below if you have time give me a comment and uh, let some of us know what kind of projects you're working on on your FK40s it's always fun to hear what everybody's doing so I hope you'll subscribe and come back and watch us later all right take care <laughs>